have the last box I need to open. Hey guys, it's LBS Honey, and today I'm going to be opening the Diva Squad. So this is actually the final pack that Huntress LBS got for me in America. So I am looking so forward to opening this, especially the special pet. But before we open that, I actually have a little package with one LPS in it right here. So I'm just going to open this up real quick. So here's the pet. I'm sure some of you have seen it before. There's a bit of kind of confusion on whether or not it's a mystery pet or not. Um, I believe it wasn't officially released. I think it was going to be released with like a diary. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up on screen. But if not, I'm very sorry because there's not a lot of information about it. But yeah, I'm going to open this little guy up out of his packaging really quick. So here's the little kitty. She has been on my wish list for a while and I absolutely love the colors. I love Bon Bon Kittens, so I definitely needed to get this little one. Just, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She comes with one of those kind of weird magnets from China. But I just love her. I think she is gorgeous. And I'm so excited to get her because, like I said, she was on my wish list. And any LPS that is kind of like heart themed, as you can see, she has a heart on her chest. I just love. Like, I love the Valentine's pets they made. And, yeah, I'm just so happy to have her. And now that I've opened her up, I am going to open this pack up. Okay guys, we have a little bit of an emergency here. So I was opening my LPS and I'm sure some of you guys know that Hasbro has a tendency to make their LPS really difficult to get out of packaging for some reason. And I kind of deformed, ah, slash broke this pet's fin. So as you can see, this side's fine. It's nicely curled up and all that. But this one here is kind of more slanted down. And that's because all the plastic is kind of ripping. Like, can you guys see that white there? That's like a little rip in the plastic because it bent as I was taking it out. So I'm just trying to like push it back into spot, I guess. I don't know. I'm like really worried that his fin's going to fall off now. Uh, but anyway, here's our first pet. It's this little, like, anglerfish, I think they're called. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not my favorite, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy at least one of my favorite ones didn't get, like, damaged or anything. But it's still kind of sad that his fin might just, like, fall off at any time. Um, but yeah, there he is. And because it's a big pack, you get a lot of mini scale pets. So they will also get two cats. So this is the first one here. I really like the pattern on this one's head. It's like a little wild fluffy cat. And my hands are just not working today. I cannot hold LPS. Oh my gosh. Um, this is this little blue one. They're pretty simple designs, but I do really like them, especially this one. I really love its little fluffy body. You also get like a little cockatoo, which I thought I already had, but the one I have is slightly different. The colors are slightly, oh my gosh, I cannot hold LPS today. Can someone just bring me some new hands? Ahem. Anyway, so yeah, the one I already had is slightly different, but I, they look very similar, so they could probably be like brother and sister. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of this mold, but this one, I kind of like the colors more than the one I already had. Then you get this adorable little fluffy dog, and I'm not too sure what it is. Its name on the packaging is Sweetie Pom Pom, so I'm thinking maybe it's like a Pomeranian or something, or maybe there's a dog called a Pom Pom, I don't know. Let me know if you guys know in the comments down below, but I think it's really cute. I love the big fluffy face, it's just so cute, and the curly tail. I really, really like this one. It looks like a little puppy trying to be a lion with like a fluffy Mane. And the last mini scale pet you get is my favorite and this is little baby poodle and it is so cute. I love it so much. I love the pure white color with the blue eyes. It just looks adorable and just the little body. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing. And for you guys that don't know, this is what poodles used to look like in the mini scale. So it is such an improvement. The mini scale pets, I never used to like them that much, but Hasbro has really been improving them lately. So I'm liking them a lot more. So yeah, I definitely like the white poodle 10 times more than the purple one. You also get some teensy pets in this pack. So we get another lizard because I got like a pinky red one in the last pack. A butterfly and a little teensy snake which is my new favorite teensy. Like oh my gosh. I think this is the first teensy snake they've done. Please correct me if I'm wrong but I just love how it looks with its tiny little tongue. It is so cute. And I actually forgot to record me opening the mystery pet which I apologize for. But this is the mystery pet you get inside. It's another little like mud splatter themed pet and it's this little kitten. And I 
think this is the first happy looking one. All the mud splatter ones either look sad or grumpy, so it's kind of cute to have a happy one. And of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, the regular size pets. So the first one is this one here, and I believe this is an Angora bunny, which looks quite different to how the Generation 2 ones looked, but I really love it. I'm not the biggest fan of the color. I think it should have been a little lighter pink, but I really love the mold, all the little fluffy bits of fur everywhere. I think it is really, really cute. And yeah, it's just a pretty simple design, but I thought if I can find one, I'll try and compare it to an Angora bunny from Generation 2. I actually don't know if I have any, so this will be interesting. Okay, so I had a look and I can't really find any Angora bunnies in my collection. I think I do have one, but I just don't know where it is. So I'll try and find an image of just a random Angora bunny and put it on the screen so you guys can see a comparison. So as you can see, they're quite a bit different. The old, like, Generation 2 one was kind of like laying down with this one sitting up. And they kind of look a bit different, but I think they're both really adorable in their own ways. And then lastly, my favorite pet from this whole pack as much as I love the poodle and as much as I love this teensy snake this one is definitely my favorite it is the special edition pet ah, the pearlescent little I don't know what kind of bird it is I think it's a parakeet because its last name is Von Keet so we're just gonna stick with that but oh my gosh I love anything pearlescent like look at that shine so I knew straight away I needed this pack and he is so gorgeous like all the colors <gasps> oh my gosh and of course I do own some pearlescent generation 2 pets so time for a comparison so I'm not sure if they've ever done a pearlescent kind of bird for generation 2 but I think we're all familiar with the kind of pearlescent snake so it's actually a bit different the pearlescent on the new version it's more kind of shiny and vibrant whereas on the old generation 2 pearlescent it's kind of got like a white effect I guess or white finish it's kind of like uh, desaturated I guess like the green on the bird is much more vibrant than the green on the snake so I actually prefer how they did the pearlescent effect on the bird and I also just noticed they didn't make the beak pearlescent on the bird but they made pretty much everything pearlescent on the snake even the little tongue Oh, and they didn't make the feet pearlescent either. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer the new pearlescent color or the old pearlescent color. I think I prefer the new pearlescent color. I just think it's so much more vibrant and beautiful. And I really, really hope Hasbro does more pearlescent pets because I just love them so much. So guys, here's my three favorites from this pack in each scale. The pearlescent bird, the white poodle, and the little teensy red snake. I think they are all super adorable and I absolutely love this pack. So thank you again to Huntress LPS for picking this up for me because it's not available in Australia and if you're in America you can get this pack from HasbroToyShop.com or ToyStore.com. I still don't know which one it is, sorry. Uh, but I'll actually put the link in the description this time so if you are in the US you can go straight to that website and look up the Diva Squad and maybe purchase it if you want. So guys, that was my little unboxing slash haul today. I absolutely love the Diva Squad and of course my little kind of mystery bun bun cat back here. Um, if you guys are interested, oh please focus on me, please, I'm the star. Huh. Um, if you guys are interested, like I said, I'll leave the link to Hasbro's Toy Shop in the description down below as well as a link to Huntress LPS because she is so kind to help me get these. Um, and yeah, I recently cleaned my filming space, so it's nice and spacious up here, and that's because, um, I have some exciting videos coming up, oh. and I'm almost at 60,000 subscribers, by the way, which, holy cow, I haven't even done my 50,000 subscriber giveaway yet, and you guys are like, mm, we're gonna make it 60 now, so yeah, I'm gonna have to rename it to 60,000 subscriber special, which, thank you, by the way, holy cow, um, so yeah, I better stop rambling. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the amazing support. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!